I've seen in this week's Aldi specials leaflet that they've got a lot of craft stuff going on. These look interesting. Watercolour inks and watercolour paper. We've got diamond dot art. I've never done that. Little kits to make necklaces and jewellery. Paint your own ceramics. And paint pouring kits. Lots of things for adults, lots of things for kids. My kids used to like these when they were little. And if you're into your fabric art, we've got yarn and we've got fat quarters. So I might go and have a look on Sunday and see what's what. So it's Sunday and it's just before 10 o'clock. Shall we go to Aldi and see if they've got those craft things? <laughs> what I've managed to buy um they've got quite a good range up there as you saw from my little video but they didn't have what I specifically wanted uh, which was the watercolor inks and the watercolor paper I've just bought some Dela Rowney watercolor paper which wasn't cheap it wasn't outrageously expensive but it wasn't cheap but they didn't have those bits in Aldi but this is what I've bought I've never done a diamond dot art thing before my friend Doreen does them quite a lot and I've got this one and the sparkle art let me see if i can see how much that was that was 6.99 a lot of these were 6.99 i bought one of these balls of yarn but i wished i'd bought two because what i want to knit i might not have enough that was 4.99 the um paint pouring quite nice colors there's two sets there's the aqua which is what i thought i'd picked up but <laughs> i've come home and i've got this um yeah we'll see what that's like i might do that first then I've bought a couple of these. I mean, these would be great for, you know, if you've got any kids that are crafty, teenage kids, they're quite nice. I like this little um, pendant here, uh, polymer clay jewellery set. They were 3 99 which, you know, the stocking fillet, not bad. Now, these weren't featured in the um, Aldi leaflet, but a little bit of Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I'm not sure whether I like his short hair. But he's got two stencil kits up there. There's this one and one called Flamboyant Birds. So I might get this out of its packet in a minute and see how big it is. And then there were two stamp sets, which were also $6.99. Which is not too bad for wood-mounted um, rubber stamps. And we'll see what the quality is like when we get them out of the box. And they're nicely presented. Again, quite nice gift ideas. Then I think these were $2.99, these foil art. Um, there's the tiger, the lion, the zebra, and the elephant. So I did want to play with this. Four pre-mixed acrylic pouring paints, each 120 millilitres, and one metallic gold paint, 20 millilitres and an instruction sheet but I haven't got time today um, we've got family coming for lunch you might have just seen my daughter preparing lunch as I was filming that little haul so um, I thought we'd have a quick look at the stencil kit and the stamps 
from the lovely Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. I used to love changing rooms. Did anybody else? And I wanted to open that without um, tearing it, but I've torn it. There were two sets of these, but I chose this one because it's got birds on it. And I'm expecting these to be quite big. They're more kind of home decor stencils, I think, than um, paper crafting stencils. But let's have a little look. Yes, so it is kind of like an A4 size, but we've got these stippling brushes. Now I would use those if I was going to be doing on furniture, but I think we're gonna just have a little play with a blending brush on a bit of background here. And I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go for this. Now it's quite big, and you know I like to do quite small cards, so we'll see how we go. I'm just going to bring in, and of course the sun's coming out now, I'm going to bring in a little bit of gathered twigs, just take it off and just have a little suggestion. I'm going to pause you and just close the blind a minute. There we go, that's better. It's a shame to shut the sun out, but um, yeah, so gathered twigs is looking quite nice on this bit of background that I've just chosen out of my scraps. Let's just rotate this a little bit. And in fact, actually, if I do the back, then we get the reverse. Now this is nice. This one here is a strip. That would be nice on a wall, wouldn't it? You could make a nice frame. How many words? How many times can I say the word nice? Let's come in with a little bit more of this here. A little bit more. Uh, yeah. And so, I mean, I think for six ninety nine, that is not bad value at all. You've got a big A4 sheet and it's quite good quality mylar. It's flexible, which is what you want when you may be stenciling um, something that's got shape to it, like a piece of furniture. And you get the three different sized stippling brushes, small, medium and large. They're not brilliant quality, the brushes, but they're quite cute. I shall find a little pot for those to go in. Okay, so that's that. A little play with that. Let's have a look at the stamps now. And again, they come in really nice boxes, which would be lovely for Christmas gifts. Oh, and you even get um, some gold metallic ink. We'll have a look at that. I wonder if they've both got gold ink or whether one's got a different colour. So this kind of mirrors a little bit the stencil a little bit um, and this has got the same birds on it as the stencil with um, a what you call it um, peacock feather use your words actually use your words i'm sorry i'm a little bit hyper today it's because i've got family coming for lunch but i'm not having to cook it for once so that is boston yes it's another gold ink so um i'm not gonna open that if you would like me to send you this and i'll send it internationally because it is light um can you comment down below lawrence llewellyn bowen Tell me something about Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen and I will send you that ink pad. Oh, this is nice, like a flock of birds. Oh, I like that very much. Okay, got some ideas for little cards for me. And we're gonna just see what they stamp like. So they're not true bright red rubber, but they're kind of quite well etched, quite good quality. And I think, as I say, these were 6.99. I'm going to use these two stamps from this set and I, oh, maybe what I'll do, I've got an idea for me. I have an idea for me, folks. It is fine. It is fine. I'm going to just randomly in gold stamp parts of this. 
Ooh. Quite nice. I wonder if it will emboss with clear ink. I'm going to get my clear embossing ink and see if it'll emboss. Hold on a moment. Are you still watching, Mother? Oh, my lamp's just fallen over. There we go. I've got clear embossing powder, which I do need some more of. Sorry about that awful noise. Right, have clear embossing powder. Have scrap paper for the sorting out of embossing powder microphone back on let's do a little bit of inking just randomly and let's put a bit of embossing powder on that see if it actually does work Let's just heat this up and see what is what. Here we go, here's my heat gun, sorry for the noise. by any stretch of the imagination put a bit more light on of course the sun's gone in now but um i'm doing it on quite a pale background let me just bring in this little bit of scrap card here see if the gold shows up any better on this dark blue bit that i've got but i quite like the subtlety of it and I haven't used a metallic ink in a very long time. I think that's got potential, you know, guys. For the money, I think that's got potential. Let's just bring in a little scrap of black and see what it shows up like on black. I mean, it looks lovely on the stamp, doesn't it? And it's a very juicy ink pad. quite nice and there is actually a break in the um, design there shall we put some powder on this see if it brings it out a bit more you see it's stuck <sighs> nearly blew my powder then <laughs> And got a little bit of glue on the base of this I'm quite excited you know quite excited by this lost a little bit of its luster on there with the clear embossing powder over the top but yeah I think it looked better kind of on its own didn't it I'm going to stamp it once more actually because I think this is going to be a little design in its own right okay just let that sit and make contact let me know in the comments down below. So with a chance to win the gold ink pad, you must be subscribed, please. And um, comment Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. But also, please comment down below, what would you like me to play with out of my little crafty haul next? I think I might do the diamond docks because I've never done one. 
and I think of an idea of what I'm going to do with the yarn. All right, I'm going to just trim this down. The lid is on that. Let's pop you out of the way. And I don't need my stencil anymore, so I'll pop that out of the way. I've got two card bases. And um, I've got one that is kind of like an A5 and one that is five and a half inches square and I think we're going to just do something with this and I'm going to ink with a brown ink now uh, come back in with gathered twigs I think and um, yeah i just want to add a bit more background to this probably going to contaminate my oxide with a bit of that gold now but never mind let's just stamp oh that was a bit a bit brutal ashley just a little bit of rotating around there we go and i'm going to cut that down now um I've also got this here and I think I'm going to do a panel on this. This is acrylic paint. I did some little dots of acrylic paint and then smooshed them down with um, an old credit card and then went the other way. I was trying to get a gingham but it didn't quite work. Now I think I'm going to go with twilight for that. I haven't got it handy so just bear with. So I've got my twilight and this lovely flock of birds and I'm going to stamp it like so. I could have this either way I guess, you could have it vertically or horizontally but I think I'm going to have it vertically oh I don't know actually no I am going to have it horizontally in which case I might cut my card down a bit that I've got oh look that's stamped really well do you know what guys I think these are really good quality stamps for the money 6 99 and you get three in each set those are re those are really nice really nice so I'm going to assemble my little cards because I have spent ages waffling and I'll come back to you to show you the finished project. So here we are after a little bit of jiggery pokery. Um, I've just matted this on a bit of black and I've written let your dreams take flight. I haven't embellished at all. I've kept that very clean and simple. There's, uh, there's a lot of colour going on in the background. I'm really pleased with these stamps, you know, for the money. And then I decided against using this as the focal image on the black. I didn't like it. Um, and I've used part of the big background that we worked on with the stencil, the gold inking, and then the brutal <laughs> gathered twigs inking. And I've just layered up on some uh, linen card birds of a feather flock together I used the other bird stamp but I like the subtle gold ink in the background there can you see it twinkling and again I haven't embellished I've just kept it quite clean and simple because there's a lot going on in the background so let me know down below what you think of the craft products that I've used today and um, will you be buying them also comment down below what you'd like me to play with from my Aldi haul next. I will be back, ooh, Tuesday with some cooking potentially. Take care everybody, bye now.